Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Virgo. So if you have Virgo in your chart, this is for you. Okay. You can have it as your sun, moon, or rising, or you could be dealing with a Virgo. Okay. So the first card out we have is anxiety. So some of you are nervous. Um, you're worried about a situation. Okay. Um, and then we have, we have receipts. So you could be getting like a text message or some sort of proof um, from somebody. It could be the other person in the connection because we have karmic. And it says third party relationship lesson. Okay. So you could be hearing from like a third party, a karmic soon. You could be getting a text or a phone call, maybe like a confession. Oh, I've been seeing so-and-so this whole time. And it's giving you like anxiety. Okay, we also have children. So this could be someone who you have children with. It could be like a twin flame or a soulmate. But let's see what else we have. This is for Virgo, please, spirit guides. Virgo. We have a snake in the camp. Oh, okay. So this could be, yeah, and we have foul play. So this could actually be somebody who, they're lying. So they're going to um, pretend like they're seeing your person um, when they're really not. So you might get like a text message or a phone call from somebody who's like, hey, um, I'm seeing your man, but they're really not, or your woman. Um, but like, let's get more messages before we get into that. But if not, like, so it might just be, or it could be someone random, almost like a prank. Like they're trying to say that they're, they're seeing your person or they've been with your person, but they really haven't. So to make you jealous or to make you mad just to start drama um yeah because we have the four of cups in reverse so like they're trying to see if they can trick you they're trying to see if they can make you miss this opportunity so like um it could be like someone who's jealous like a hater who's trying to ruin or sabotage your connection like let's say you just started dating somebody and they're jealous because they see that you guys have really like hit it off you're really getting along and like um, it's just making the whole town mad because it's probably what everybody is like looking for but they can't find so they're trying to ruin your connection yeah we have the page of wands in reverse so they're trying to like kill the spark between the two of you that's crazy come on okay but we have the emperor and he's upright so this is being in control so you guys might be dealing with an aries um we have the tower so you could be dealing with a scorpio or they could be a leo we have the sun card so i feel like since the emperor is upright that means like you're in control you're in control of the situation of your life so I feel like you guys are not going to allow it to ruin your connection or you're going to see through this situation. Um, but the tower is upright, so I do want to like clarify that. Yeah, let's just grab my clarifying deck real quick. Let's see, what is this about, this tower card? What is going to take Virgo by surprise? With this tower card. Okay, hold on, let me see. What's gonna take Virgo by surprise with this tower card? What's gonna take Virgo by surprise with this tower card? Hmm. Strength in reverse. 
So that could be another, um, it's another Leo card with the Page of Pentacles. Oh, it's going to take you by surprise either that you're going to have enough strength or courage to overcome this situation and not allow it to affect you. With the Page of Pentacles, you, may, you might even get away with, like, you're going to snap back at this person. And this person's not expecting this from you. Like, you're going to be able to either say something or do something that, um, that catches them off guard. Yeah, in order to take control of the situation and, like, fight for your happiness. This person is not expecting this from you. Yeah, they're expecting you to, like, crumble and fall. They're going to ruin your your stuff you have going on for yourself. But with the Sun card, it's like, you're definitely going to pull through. And this person is not expecting this from you. Okay? They're expecting, like, conflict with the Five of Swords. They're expecting you to be, like, um, they're expecting like a harsh communication from you. Like they're expecting you to be like, um, argumentative or say something like, um, really hurtful back. So, and that way they, they would almost get off on it. Like, haha, I got to you. You're mad. Ha ha. But you're not going to, um, do that. You're going to like keep your cool and you're going to be calm with like the page of pentacles. You're going to, um, be like stable. Yeah. And grounded. Okay, let's see what else. Oh, wow. Hmm. So we have the Five of Swords. It's coming up again. So this is the second time it's coming up. So I almost get like... Since it's not you that's going to be like um, upset... This must be like your person or something. So your person is going to say something. Your person is going to say like, tell this them to F off. <laughs> and they're not expecting that either. They're probably thinking like, oh, I can come in between these people. I can mess it up. I can... Um, could also be a fixed sign, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, or Aquarius, with the world card here. But they're thinking like they're gonna put an end to this situation and they're gonna make you like with the two of wands in reverse. Oh, I'm gonna force them to like stop in their tracks with this person. Like they're going to have to make a different choice, basically. And they're going to have to choose me. This is crazy. But with the Seven of Pentacles, it's coming up in reverse. This is like saying, you guys have put enough time and effort into this situation that people are not going to be able to like come in between. Because it's been too long. There's been too much effort that's been put into this situation. So people can't come in between your connection. Okay. Let's see what else. So this has to be like a significant soulmate or even twin flame. For people to want to come in between your connection so badly like this and try to mess with it, it's because they know that it's something like worthwhile and valuable and they're trying to stop you. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, that's what happens. You have other energies, see, coming in with the Seven of Cups. This is other options, other energies. They're going to kind of come in between and try to stop this love, stop this connection with the Ace of Cups in reverse. They want to ruin it. They want to, to come in between. I don't know why. It's so weird. Hold on. 
Yeah, it's so stupid. I don't know why people get like that. It's just haters, you know? But it doesn't matter. I feel like you guys are not going to allow it to um, ruin your connection. So, anyways, that's the message for today. So, please let me know if it resonates. Um, comment below. Like the video. And I have my um, email in the description box if you guys want another... Um, personal reading, like more specific to your situation, just let me know. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Watch out for these haters. <laughs> Bye.